Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use SketchUp. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So we first have to learn more what is SketchUp. Well, SketchUp here is a platform or software you could, where in this case, you'll be able to design 3D. Now in this case, you could actually use this for free or you could actually use any of the products they have in here. But some of the products are going to be paid, but currently they have the SketchUp free here, SketchUp Go, SketchUp Pro, SketchUp Studio, and a lot more. Now they also have the section here for plans and pricing. So if you want to use it for commercial use, for higher education, or for primary and secondary uh, education. Now in this case, if you want to use this for commercial use, you can go ahead and view their pricing here. So which includes 199, 119 a year, which is SketchUp Go. SketchUp Pro is 349 a year and SketchUp Studio 749 a year. Now, in this case, depending on what plan you actually use here or buy from SketchUp, you should be able to access some or additional features. Like, for example, for the most popular here, which is SketchUp Pro, you have the option for quick insight design research, experience reality, XR headset viewing, and access to plugins for extended SketchUp Pro desktop functionality now if you want to compare the plans they have just click on compare all plans here if you want to learn more about the plans here you could go ahead and just scroll down a bit here and also you have the following uh, companies that is trusting sketchup here now in this case how do we actually start using sketchup well it's actually pretty easy so what we need to do here is we need to visit their website here which is sketchup.com and you should see the trimble logo at the top left meaning this is going to be the official website now in this case, how do we try using SketchUp? So usually when you actually scroll down here, you will be able to see the section here that says try SketchUp. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on try SketchUp here. And from here, it's going to say whether you're just beginning 3D journey or you're uh, SketchUp Ninja, you, you could get, get started for free today. So you could basically create a professional or work with most of your boasters free for seven days. So that includes 3D modelers for desktop, web, iPad, 2D documentation, photorealistic and real-time visualization, a revit to SketchUp importer, and import and model on top of point cloud data. Now, if you want to try their uh, free trial here, just click on start free trial. But we also have the personal projects here, which in this case, you have the free seven uh, day trial or the SketchUp free here, which includes the 3D web modeler, 10 gigabyte called it, uh, cloud storage and access to mobile viewer. Now in this case, let's just click on start modeling here for us to start using this SketchUp free. Now in this case, it's, it's going to redirect you to the Trimble website here, which in this case, you need to actually create your account. Now in this case, you could actually manually create your account by entering your username here or using the already existing account that you already have. Like for example, for Google, Apple, and Microsoft. Now in this case, I want to sign up using my Google account here. Also, if you're a new user here, just click on create a Trimble ID here and we need to choose the option or region here. So let's just say uh, everywhere else here, click on next. And from here, it's going to redirect you to another page. In this case, you need to enter the following details. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter all the necessary details here. Now on the next page, it's going to actually send you a verification code here. So you need to open up your Gmail here. So let's just go ahead and open up our Gmail here to look for that code here. So we have Trimble Identity. Let's go ahead and copy our code here and paste it into the Trimble Identity here and from here. What we need to do is we need to click on this one, copy this one, and paste it in here. Click on submit to confirm this one. And what we need to do is we need to enter a password. So go ahead and enter your password here, but be assured that you actually adhere to their characteristics of the password that you will be entering. Like eight characters, numbers, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, and special characters. Now, in the next page, it's going to ask you some information about yourself, like your account preferences. So that includes your country, your region, time zone, and your language. Now, in this case, go ahead and select that and just click on next. And you should be able to see the would you like to add an extra layer of security to your account. So if you want to enable two-factor authentication here or MFA here, you could go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm going to select I'll enable MFA later. Now it's going to say your account has been created successfully and it should redirect you to the next page here, which is the app section for SketchUp. Now in this case, let's just wait for it to load up 
And from here, it's going to ask you before you start to continue, please review the agree to sketch ups, terms of service, privacy policy, and privacy policy supplements. Now, in this case, I would suggest you to read all the privacy policies here and the policy supplements so that you'll be able to know what is required, what are the things that you can do and not do within the platform itself. So you'll be able to protect yourself something if just in case something actually went wrong. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on agree and let go get let's get going and click on OK. And as you can see, it's you should be able to see the main UI for SketchUp. Now, in this case, if you want to start using SketchUp here, but I just have to warn you, since we're just using the free version here for SketchUp, there's going to be uh, we'll only be able to use the basic functionalities for SketchUp. Now, in this case, what we need to do is create one or open from a device. Like if you already have an existing document or file that you want to use, click on open from device and just choose the file here that you want to open up. So usually it's going to be a dot skp here so look for that but for now we just want to click on create new one here so let's go ahead and click on it and from here it should load up the next page here and in here you should be able to see the new project that we just recently created now how do we actually start using the tools that we have for sketchup here so there's going to be a lot of tools that you use here but since this is just free this is not yet the full capabilities of sketchup but already with the free version that we are using right now in sketchup there are a lot of things that we could actually do here now first things first how do you actually draw something into your canvas here and how do you actually move around now in this case when you you actually press and hold on your middle mouse here you should be able to rotate around the scene itself so by the way the colors that you see here is going to be the x and y and z axis here so make sure that you actually know what the axis though are available here now in this case we have the uh, select option here which in this case you'll be able to select your current uh, uh, drawings here or objects also the eraser tool here in this case you'll be able to erase some of the objects here if you choose that you also have the line tool here which in this case you'll be able to actually create lines now, like for example we want to create a simple square here so just go ahead and go to one point here click on it and drag it into this specific uh, green axis here and what we need to do here just make sure that you left that and from here you could draw again another section here so whenever it actually highlights to a different color it adheres to that specific axis and for example we are now in the red axis here since this specific line here is actually turning red now in this case, you can go ahead and leave that. And from here, you want to go to the end point here. So in this case, it's, you have the green axis now aligned to this line here. And from here, you could go ahead and click on this end point again to close it up into the section here. As you can see, we now have our first plane. Now in this case, how do we actually further edit this one? Well, using the line tool here, you could actually uh, create some divisions on it. Like for example, we just created this division here for the two section of this specific plane. Now the next tool that we have here is going to be the push and pull tool. Now depending on how you actually use this, you will be able to create interesting shapes. Now, for example, we have this divided section here through the line section here. What we need to do here is just press and hold on it. And when you actually drag this above, as you can see, we were able to push it above. So that we'll be able to create a shape here effortlessly effortlessly um, from the plane itself so as you can see we can now see it in 3d view now by the way if you want to have a further view on your object here you could also press on the h key on your keyboard and you'll be able to pan around into your scene as you can see i can move up and down here if you want to see the other side here you can go ahead and do that and again press on h and from here you could move it around or pan around in this case you could go ahead and start viewing that now the next tool we have here is going to be the move tool. So if you want to move this around, like for example, I want to move this up or down, you could go ahead and do that. So in this case, you'll be able to move those specific section. By the way, if you want to select uh, a specific section here, go ahead and select that. So maybe I want to select all of this one. So except this guy here, we want to make sure that we actually avoid him. And from here, we want to press the move tool here and we'll be able to move the whole section itself as you can see right now. 
Now we also have the rotate he tool here if you want to rotate your object. For example, if you align it in the X or sorry, in the red section here, it's going to turn red. And when you actually move this around, you should be able to uh, select a specific pad. As you can see, we have chosen the X and, oh, sorry, the red and green actually here as a basis on how we actually want to rotate our object here. Now in this case, you can go ahead and apply that. As you can see, it is now slanted a bit. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on the Control Z button on your keyboard to reverse that, and you should actually return back into the previous action that we had. Now in this case, we also have the option to unlock plane and the uh, the tool here for paint. Now if you want to add colors into your objects, you can go ahead and clear choose this one. If for example, I want to make this yellow, go ahead and select that, and as you can see, the whole thing is now yellow, which is something really great if you want to add some colors into your objects. Now, if you want to uh, close this pane here, you can go ahead and click on this one. And we also have the other tools here, like Pan, which is the H tool that I told you before. We also have the Orbit here. So if you want to orbit around and see it further, so instead of pressing the uh, middle mouse on your keyboard, uh, on your mouse, you can go ahead and use the Orbit here or O. Now we also have the tape measure here and the text option here. If you want to add some text, uh, if you want visible anywhere on your screen, you could go ahead and add this one. Like for example, I just want to say hello. So I just maybe I want to just say hello here. And from here, just press on enter and you should be able to add that specific text. As you can see, whenever I actually move around, it's not going to go anywhere. So if you want to display some information that is called here, you could go ahead and use this one. But for now, I'm going to remove that. And from here, we actually have other tools. So if you click on the tree dotted icon here, you should be able to see the other tools that is actually available here. But in this case, some of the tools here are going to be uh, kind of advanced. So we just are going to discuss uh, the basics here, or how to move around, what are the things that you can do here. So for example, if you want to use the freehand tool here, you'll be able to basically create a plane or object here based on how you draw things here. Like for example, it's just freehand here, I was able to make this incredible shape here. So especially if you have a tablet, it's going to be something really helpful. Like if your object or 3D object that you want to create is actually uh, kind of complicated, you could use your tablet here. Now also, we have the 3D text here. So if you want to add text here, so maybe I want to say hello in here, you have the option to change the font, the uh, style here, the height, text field, and the text extrusions. You could, you could go and change that, but I want to use these one by default. As you can see, we were able to add that, and we were able to add our text here for this plane here. As you can see, we have hello here. Now, in this case, when you click on the tree dot icon here, there's going to be a lot of you can do here, like zoom, dimensions, and protector. But just in case if you want to add some objects that is already existing, you could actually go to this section here at the right side. But before that, we need to apply this one, press and enter, make sure that we actually apply that. So just, uh, make sure it's selected. Go to uh, the selection tool here, select it or deselect this one. And in this case, you could go ahead and select this uh, icon here, which is the 3D warehouse section, where in this case, you'll be able to search for different objects. Like for example, we have this chair here. If you want to search for content, you can go ahead and do that as well. So in this case, maybe I want to add this specific chair here, click on this one. And what we need to do is scroll down a bit, click on download configure. It's going to download the model into our project and we should be able to see it in here. So it may take some time here, but it should appear on your screen and you have the configure uh, window here. So whenever you select this one, you'll be able to basically configure this object itself. Like for example, the headrest here, the coat hanger, lumbar support, if you want to add those, you could go ahead and do that as, as you can see right now. But yeah, so if you're contented on this one, just click on the X at the top right here to exit the configure section. And yeah. So there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here, like for example, the components, the materials that you could use, and even the instructor here, and the outliner, and a lot more. Now, yeah, if you want to save your project, just click on the save at the top left here. It's going to say your model contains unused components, materials, tags, or tiles. Purchasing these items can improve performance. Would you like to purchase unused items before saving? So I want to answer no here because I want to keep everything that we have in our project. So it's going to uh, save to our projects here and it should actually be, uh, be able to save that. So just wait for it to load up. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on skate, uh, sketch up Asia here. And from here, maybe we want to say enter name or model name here. You want to say test model here, click on save here. And we should be able to save this one on the folder. Now in this case, when we actually go back into our home here, 
so I want to click on no Let's just go back into home and as you can see we now have the test project here which includes all the assets that we actually added but yeah so that's about it so those are the two basic things that you can do here on SketchUp and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video